Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, we're doing a bit of a different thing today. So I am doing a 12 hour readathon in honour of World Book Night. Um, sorry if there's not a lot of noise going on in the background. <laughs> Basically, yes, it's World Book Night, it's 23rd of April, and I thought to celebrate World Book Night, I would do a 12 hour readathon. It is currently 6 pm at night. Um, I'm not really sure how I can prove that because I've got my phone on me and I'm actually recording on my phone. But I hope you trust me, it is 6pm on Saturday the 23rd of April and we are going to be reading all the way through until 6am on Sunday the 24th of April. So I'm going to be filming as we go along, I'm going to be getting lots of different shots on different cameras um, and I'm going to be checking in with you regularly. But to keep this to like a reasonably length, a reasonable length video, I am going to um, do lots of like kind of speed up montages and voiceovers and there'll be obviously periods of time when I don't film just because I need to recharge cameras and things like that. So um, I hope that you can trust that I am doing what I say I'm doing. I am doing 12 hours. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do the whole thing, to be honest. We are going from 6pm to 6am. So that means missing an entire night of sleep. So I'm not sure if I'll succeed, but I'm here. I'm willing to try. I absolutely love reading. And so for me, this is not so much challenge, more a privilege. So first of all, I will show you the first book that we are reading. So the first book is The Sixth Lamentation by William Broderick and I picked this book because it's been on my bookshelf for a really long time and I've never really heard of it, I've never heard anyone talk about it and I think that's kind of why I've been a little bit reluctant to read it because I do tend to be very influenced by what other people say about books but it's about the Second World War. There you go, if you want to pause the video you can read the back um, but it's basically about... Um, atonement and um, what it means to have lived two different types of lives and that kind of thing so it's based in kind of two of different time periods but basically it's about second world war and the holocaust so that's the first book that i'm going to be reading and then the second book that I'm going to be reading is actually going to be chosen by my followers on Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, please do, because I tend to post on Instagram more regularly than I do on YouTube. Um, doing YouTube videos is very much a hobby for me. I work full time, in fact, I work more than full time hours. And so I can only really do YouTube videos as and when I have the time to do them. So if you want to kind of follow on with what I do as a writer, as a reader, as a history lover, then probably your best place to find me regularly is on Instagram. So we are choosing from three books. These are the three books that my followers are choosing from. There's Unsettled Ground by Claire Fuller, there's Queenie by Candice Carty Williams, and there's Rivers of London by Ben Aronovich. Um, I have heard of all of three of these books. These are books that I've bought and have been desperately wanting to read for a very long time, um, but haven't got round to it. So I've Oh, I'm only saying really picking two. So there's the first one and then my followers are picking the second one. I honestly don't think I'm going to be able to get through two books in 12 hours. So um, if I can get through the first one and get part way through the second one, I'll be really happy. But you never know. I might be able to get through two. We'll see. I'm not the fastest reader just because I like to read every word. I'm not a speed reader. Um, I want to really enjoy a book and kind of fall into a book and be absorbed by it so that's why um i tend to read a little bit slower than some other speed readers but yeah i best get on with it because it's now 602 or something like that and i want to uh, i want to get into reading so yeah i'll talk to you again in a little while Pussycat's just coming to join me. Aren't you, lovely? Are you coming to join me? He's... He's off camera now, but I'm sure you'll see him at some point later today. Mm, yeah, he gets no good in there.
It is, I think it's maybe about quarter past seven, something like that. I've been um, just reading. I'm on page 66. I'm just starting at chapter eight. Um, so far, I'm liking it. I feel like um, the writer, Matthew Broderick, uh, William Broderick, um, has kind of used a lot of big words and... I feel like my vocabulary is pretty good um, and even I'm like reading some of it and like, what? Um, it's interesting because I listen to a podcast called um, The Writer's Routine. Really, really good if you're a budding writer or if you really love books. I highly recommend it. Um, and the uh, guy who runs it has different authors on every week and they talk about that author's routine, that author's kind of writing style, how they make their books, this, that and the other. I find it really inspiring for kind of writing my own stuff. And they had Ken Follett on recently, who did the Pillars of the Earth series. One of my favourite books of all times is the Pillar of Pillars of the Earth. And so I was like, oh, wow, Ken Follett's going to be on. This is really interesting. And he was saying that he never, ever wants any of his readers to have to read a sentence twice. And I was like, gosh, that's because that's how I write. I want people to be able to engage with the narrative and to be able to read the story and to not have to be tripping up over difficult words. And he was exactly the same. And I was like, wow, this guy's like a multi-million copy selling author. Um, and it was just really reassuring to hear that someone who is that well-renowned and that successful as a writer has the same kind of thought. And I was kind of thinking about that while I was reading this because... Certainly in the first couple of chapters, it was very um, the, the very complicated sentences. And I get it, it's very clever writing, um, but it was kind of tripping me up in, in terms of like falling into the narrative. So I wasn't 100% kind of keen on that. Um, and it's very, the first couple of chapters are very descriptive in terms of like the, the main characters. Um, but to be honest, from... Um, kind of about 30 pages in, it, it's starting to get really good. Um, and it's now kind of gone back in time slightly. Um, I know chapter eight comes back to the present. I feel like it's going to be one of those books that kind of jumps around in time, like quite a lot. Um, but I don't really mind that as long as the writing's good and you can clearly feel like you're kind of easily chopping between the two, that's fine. Um, but yeah, I think it's very good so far um i'm gonna get up out of bed and i'm gonna just go and stretch my legs a little bit go to the toilet maybe get a drink um and then we will continue onwards yes at this point i did go and make myself gin and tonic in the kitchen had a little chat with tom um i have a few drinks throughout this challenge it was a saturday night and so i wanted to have a few drinks throughout it hope you don't mind um but yeah i just thought i'd show you myself making a gin and tonic Hello everybody. It is it's about half past eleven, quarter to twelve. We're nearly six hours through Pussycat. Um I'm trying to find random new angles <laughs> to film at. So um I've come and sat on the floor um in the living room slash kitchen. Um Stanley's on the couch, chilling out, and I've just put a couple more logs on the fire. Um I'm hoping that what I can do is those will burn down a little bit while I'm just reading. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read down here until midnight. Then I'm going to go up to bed. Tom's awake. He's just gone up um, in the last kind of 10 minutes or so. Um, so I'm going to stay down here until midnight in about half an hour. Just so I can show you on the clock more than anything. Just to prove that I have stayed up until midnight. Um, then I'm going to go up and get into bed. Yeah, should go get into bed. We'll go get into bed. Um, and I'll read up there for a few hours. I'm guessing that at, like between two and three o'clock, I might have to come back downstairs just because if I start feeling sleepy, I'm going to get up, 
make myself a coffee or make myself a cup of tea or something and come downstairs. So what I'm hoping is that I can kind of bank the fire up a bit. If I let it kind of burn a little bit now for kind of half an hour until it's midnight and then I might be able to put another log on the fire and then maybe that'll be enough to keep it going until two o'clock, three o'clock. Um, I mean, if not, it's not the end of Look at your face. If not, it's not the end of the world. I'll just relight it when I come back down. But um, yeah, that's kind of the, the plan. So I'm going to let you sit here with some very cute footage of my pussy cat. And I'm going to pick up my book. I'm on page 183. Chapter 20 of part two. So I started the second part of the book and had a second prologue, which was really interesting. So yeah, I'm going to continue reading in front of my fire. I met an old man I said, tell me your story He took out an old pen And wrote something for me Walking on down the road And I watched him disappear like smoke And I thought I'd just seen a ghost Then I looked down at what he wrote He said, son, when you grow up you'll be fine now you've got questions on your mind there you go you can see it's 23:59. oh there we go midnight <laughs> um yeah it's midnight so we are officially six hours in um sorry that's the dishwasher in the background you can hear um yeah we're six hours in halfway through the readathon unfortunately still only about halfway through the book um i did think i would have got further maybe even finished one book in six hours but unfortunately not i'm still going with this one um i'm enjoying it though so let's see how we do over the next six hours searching for Hello everybody, um, I'm, I'm talking very quietly, in fact I'm more or less whispering, it's quarter to two in the morning and I've had to come back downstairs because I was really struggling to um, read and to stay awake upstairs, um, I'm feeling really tired um, and I am severely regretting not starting the challenge earlier in the day. I think I felt like if I didn't do it for the whole of the evening then I wasn't quite reading all the evening but I think in hindsight what I should have done is I should have done it from like 3pm until 3am and then I could have got a reasonable amount of um, like the evening done. Sorry, I'd have got a reasonable amount of sleep. Um, but also I'd have been able to do a full 12 hours. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to read until 3 and then I'm probably going to call it a night. Um, I've bitten off more than I can chew. But we'll see. I might get to 3 o'clock and think, oh, well, I'll just go till 4 and then I'll just go till 5. Then I'll just go till 6. But I doubt it. I doubt it. Anyway, um, I've got the fire going again. Um, and yeah got the fire going. I've made myself coffee. Um, I'm going to sit here and read more of my book.
everybody. Um, I'm talking very quietly because it's quarter past three in the morning. Um, Tom's up in bed. I don't want to disturb him. Um, but I think I'm going to go and get back into bed. And at whatever point I fall asleep, that's fine. <laughs> because um, I'm absolutely exhausted. It's um, I haven't finished the book. I am... 300 pages through and it's still got like a wedge left um i think i may have bitten off more than i could chew with that size book but i've enjoyed reading it and making this video so i hope you don't mind that there's been less books read throughout this but yeah i'm gonna go and get back into bed yeah so i probably will um post another last um, story when I do go to sleep or if I fall asleep and I don't post anything else and obviously I'll speak to you in the morning um, but I just wanted to say thank you so much for following along with World Book Night and with my readathon and I have been filming it on my phone and on my cameras for a YouTube video which will be coming up this week so I hope you enjoy watching that as well and um, I've really enjoyed it. I think if I did another readathon like this, I think I'd go back to how I did it last time, which was basically doing it throughout the day. It's really hard to stay up at all night and read all night. Um, yeah, but anyway, 